Yeah, I'm gonna be. be Come on, stay, everybody. This is Scott Expat in the Philippines. Well, today Alan saw a tiger snake. It's a tiger snake for the first time. Um, it was from the tip of my finger to my shoulder in length. Um, it was probably a male or female. Don't know at this point. Um, so we got this guy out to uh, come and get it and remove um, the tiger snake. Uh, but when <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't find it. It had either decided to um, lay low and wait until we walked past it, or walked around it, or walked over it, or it had gone through back into the fence again and over the other side uh, of the railway. A couple of holes now I've got to fix, and um, I'll have to do that during winter. Time, but uh, not good. Um, I went over to a couple of our neighbours uh, in the street to uh, inform them that there are tiger snakes around um, the street and um, across the road, and that Wally and Annette know. And uh, a couple of doors down this way. Um, when I was walking back, I thought, that's funny. We must be leaking water. I didn't put my hand down. I wasn't quite sure after seeing the tiger snake in the backyard. Might have been the same one, but this one was a little bit smaller and a bit of, um, probably from here to here, long, uh, in length. So, um, no, I didn't bring the guy back out. False, uh, thing. I, uh, got the, uh, pinch stick and, um, just moved it along out the way so if I see the other one tomorrow while I'm mowing the lawn out the back I have to be very careful because um, even though they're baby snakes they've got a lot of venom in them and uh, they can kill uh, with snakes they're more frightened of you than you are of them um, they will move fast to get out of your way, but if cornered, they will strike. <laughs> Tiger snake's black on the top, and got a yellow and sort of blackish under neat belly. And they move very fast, and can strike very fast, like a bannercon or a cobra. They're in line with the King Brown, maybe the most, Australia's most two deadliest snakes here. Um, I will have to put the um, sprinkler on the back and there's a few holes I need to fix up down the sideway and um, over the back fence here and one over this side of the fence in the corner there's a big hole I need to plug up might do them around winter time but in the same breath I really should do them now um, you can plug the holes up but snakes have got a bad habit of going from tree to tree and drop into your yard as well 
um, summer months they don't like the heat they come out have a hard time um, Snowy will let me know if there's one in the backyard by barking a lot because they can tend to go along our fence line as well because uh, we've got a gap that big in the fence between the fence and the concrete so they can slither along it's rowing yes because we have CJ and he's only a baby and I can't let him out the backyard and we have to watch him out the front I've also got to watch myself in the garage too just in case they decide to slither in when I'm about to uh, open up the garage so I do have to keep my um, wits about me there and make sure that they don't get in the garage because once they get in there you can't get them out um, they go to the cooler part and um, curl up they're good in one way for mice and get the mice out of the place but uh, in another way they're not for us with um, children because uh, kids have got a bad habit of approaching them and if they get cornered they will strike back but i um, glad Arlene let me know that it was there it um, sort of went from our veggie garden came from down that way alongside our probably our bedroom and came out near the old veggie garden and went across the begonias and hid in there for a while and then came back out and went over towards the fence and then slithered back out towards the cactus garden and stopped for a little while and then went down the back so uh, being snake removal and awareness he came out and he had a look but we couldn't find it I went out with him um, and we just could not see it so it had obviously it's obviously hiding out there somewhere it all probably come out in night time and um, go for the mice or whatever I need to clean up the um, back corner fence down here where I've got all the rubbish and uh, remove that but I might wait until winter time to do that and I'll smoke them out with the smoke um, and then I'll start removing the rubbish that I've got there but uh, like everything you need to um, clear your property and make sure your lawns are mowed so you can see where they are anyway um, snakes are snakes and um, we have to keep our wits about us at all times and make sure that um, our children are safe so we will um, when I take CJ out to the car I'll have to put him um, in my arms and walk out with him and uh, put him in the baby seat and then shut the door and um, then get in the car and Arlene will get in the car back seat and we'll just think but we've just got to keep our wits about us when we go out the front because uh, this one is only about the one that was at the front was only about that big but it's still got a fair bite for a baby we got the bite of an adult um, male or an adult female and they can cause serious damage to your body by uh, pumping a lot of venom up to your heart so the best thing to do is not overreact not get too excited be calm at all times and call double O triple I call 911 if you're in America or whatever 
Philippines you're in and the Philippines I don't know what the number is there for um, emergency service I think it's triple uh, triple O so we need to keep our wits about us now we know that we have snakes in the backyard and uh, around the property it's the first time we've seen a snake since we've been here um, been up here five years and it's the first time we've seen a tiger snake in the backyard so I've been been weary of them but uh, I haven't uh, sighted one as yet until today thanks Arlene and a quick bit I think she was going out to uh, check on her malungai and her um, chilies and that's when she saw it so she came back in quick smart and told me and I saw it and um, I rang Triple O and then told them that we had a tiger snake in the property and uh, they said okay we'll, we'll give you the number of the snake man did but that one phone was disconnected so I had to ring back again and get another number by this time he'd gone to the laundry uh, down to the cactus garden and he was just laying there for about 20 minutes so um, couldn't do much about it uh, I was waiting for anything and he put me on to another guy and which was Ben, Ben Snake Removal and Awareness. So um, I've got his card, that's this guy here. So if you're ever looking for um, someone to get rid of snakes in Victoria or in um, Sunbury, he's in Cap Road. Sorry, give him a ring, that's his number. And he'll come out and remove the snakes and take them far away as possible and then let them go out into the bush away from houses. So, anyway, this has been Scott Expert in the Philippines. Uh, next time I see one, hopefully I'll have my video with me and I'll video tape it so you can see it. But uh, take it from me. It was big enough from my fingertip to my shoulder in length and about that wide. So they're around here and you have to keep your wits about you um, at all times. We are very unlucky because we have the railway out here and we have a reserve with a um, billabong just out here and um, there are plenty of snakes there and uh, they chase after the, they come after the frogs, the mice and the, um, whatever else is out there that they eat and um, we just have to be vigilant and keep our eyes open guys um, next time as I said I see one I'll videotape it and uh, upload it onto YouTube um, so you guys can see uh, hopefully I can ring Ben and get him to come out again and um, grab him and then maybe Ben, I can video Ben with the tiger snake and um, we can put it up on YouTube. Anyway, this has been Scott, expat in the Philippines. Catch you later. Have a good day. Relax. Enjoy and take care. Bye.